So some of you guys were asking me in the comments that if this test like can create such a big inrush current that it could damage a circuit. Let's find out. For today's test, I'm gonna use my incandescent bulb. We're gonna go to ground here. I'm gonna use my standard amp clamp and we're gonna go ahead and place that over the wire here. My scope is already set up. I have it to 10 millivolts per division and we are at 200 milliseconds per division on time. So then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a capture. All right, so here is our current for this particular test light. Now, when you guys are using an amp probe, just a quick amp probe class, for here, for every 10 millivolts is one amp, right? That's how it's gonna be measuring. So now let's go ahead and let's take a measurement of our actual scope screen. All right, so what you can see here, this is my inrush current. We're showing 11.6 millivolts, which is equivalent to 1.1 amps of inrush the moment that my test light touched the power side. Now you would say, well, man, that's a lot of amperage, but in reality, it's just a small amount for a very small period of time. Let me show you. So it took roughly around 24 milliseconds before my current was reaching somewhere around 400 million. Then within about 52 seconds, we were roughly around the 220 million draw, which is exactly the same as when we bench tested our actual test light. I wanted to run this test for you guys because a lot of you guys thought that by having inrush current that we could damage some component because it's happening at such a fast rate. This is why we can still use it as load substitution and it won't be damaging us circuit you guys notice within about 50 milliseconds we were right where we needed to be on the actual current draw this happens with any electronic component the moment that you run current through it you're going to have a spike and then it's going to come back down and normalize based off of the amount of current that it's actually drawing i know this information was super useful see you guys on the next one